The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave the power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received, grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. So the prologue to John's Gospel read this morning serves as an introduction to all of the literature written by John. The Gospel of John, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, the book of Revelation. And he introduces these themes that we have that, that if we're listening or we read this before and we have ears to hear, if you will, he talks about testimony. He talks about the light coming into the darkness. He talks about darkness. He talks about life. He talks about truth and the world and the conflict between the light and the truth in the world. And all of these themes John is kind of setting up and he's going to dive into more deeply throughout his gospel. From his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, right? And the truth and the life. The way and the truth and the life. Satan is what? A liar and a murderer from the beginning. And we have this contrast between life and death, between lies and truth. Jesus Christ, the Christ, right? The anointed one, the one who is coming into the world. Jesus Christ has come, the way and the truth and the life. And we are called to be reborn in him, to participate in the very life of God. I don't know if you've ever, I don't know how much you've thought about that. Called into being by God, redeemed from sin by God, called to participate in the very life of God. And when we receive Holy Communion this morning, right? 
It is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of the living God come to us to dwell in us. The Christ has come, right? The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, right? And this is such wonderful, a wonderful truth. But you know, there are powers that work against Christ. There are powers that work against the Christ. Quite deliberately, quite methodically, quite persistently. And what do we call those powers that work against Christ? It was in the first reading today. It's not the boogeyman. Children, it is the last hour, quoting from the first reading today. It is the last hour. The church teaches that the end of time has been coming since Christ was born. That we've been in the last hour since the incarnation. This is it. This is the final age. Children, it is the last hour. And just as you heard the Antichrist was coming, so now many antichrists have appeared. I have said many times, if the devil had a business card, you know what it would say on his business card? Liar. He's a liar. That's his nature, is to lie. God is the truth, and Satan is a liar and a murderer. You know, all of the commandments in one sense are lies. Adultery is a lie, isn't it? Stealing is saying, this is mine, not yours, and that's a lie. Obviously, we talk about falsehood, lying, telling things that are wrong. And so, my brothers and sisters, we have the themes given to us of light and darkness, life and death, truth, that Jesus has come into the world, that the light has come into the darkness. And we know we would be naive. I said just recently, don't be naive that there is not an antichrist who lies and wants to drag you into lies. And so I would challenge you today, challenge you today to have no room in your life for falsehood. Even little lies. No room in your life for falsehoods. To stand above them and speak the truth. I heard this and this really challenged me. It said, if you have something to say and you don't speak, your silence is a lie. So we have the Antichrist and we have the Christ. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And if the Antichrist had a business card, what would it say? Liar. And lots and lots of Antichrists have come into the world. It's not the boogeyman. It's liars. Let us pray today that we are men and women of the truth, the way and the truth and the life.